Right about now, you're probably wondering, Eliza, why are you wearing body glitter? I will tell you. <laughs> because my date was late to pick me up. Gentlemen, <laughs> you must know. Every single woman in this room, nay, the world, has <laughs> a list of things she does to get ready. There's everything from plucking a hair on a big toe to filing down a fang. We have a list. There's a pinnacle of attractiveness that every woman is capable of reaching, meaning once we've gotten ready, there's a point where we're done and we ain't getting any hotter, OK? <laughs> And every minute that you're late to pick us up is one more minute we spend messing with our makeup and we get <laughs> uglier. <laughs> uglier. <laughs> one time, my date was an hour late. I grew a tail. Like, it gets <laughs> worse. This guy, thank God, was only 20 minutes late. He walks in. I'm on the ground. There's caboodle shrapnel everywhere. <laughs> I've got half a hair extension in and a wet and wild lip gloss wand. I'm like, stay back. I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> Girls, when you have too much time to get ready, it becomes your enemy. So the best advice I can give you is give yourself one hour for your makeup. Your hair is like another thing. <laughs> one hour. Set a timer for an hour, do your makeup, and girls, when that timer goes off, chef, step away from your place, put your knives down. You'll be done. <laughs> okay? Because when you have too much time, your imagination runs away from you, and that's what happened to me. I had time to go a hunting for some body glitter, which in hindsight wasn't even body glitter, it was straight up craft glitter. <laughs> And I thought I could do a classy amount. <laughs> but do you ever think that? Do you ever think that because you're not trashy, you can pull off doing something that's trashy? <laughs> you're like, I can wear fingerless gloves. I went to Stanford. Like, it's OK. <laughs> that's what happened with me. I was like, I'll just do a little bit. I've got time. I'll just do a, a winter's frost. What's a? <laughs> am I Elsa? Is it frozen? What's a winter's frost? Just keep. <laughs> got five more minutes, and maybe I'll just highlight the orbital rim. Yes. <laughs> that way, when we're dancing, the light will hit it, and it will be like, bing, anime, ah! Just keep going. <laughs> highlight my jawbone so he knows I come from, what, good chewing stock? Just keep <laughs> going. Five more minutes later, sparkle fish. So now, <laughs> I look like a damn road flare, and we're in public. So. We walk into this bar, and <clears throat> one of the difficult parts about being a woman, besides everything, is that <laughs> we're constantly at battle, whether it's battling societal expectations of how much you should weigh, think, act, wear, be. But minute to minute, we are fighting with ourselves. We are fixing our bras and our thongs and our hair and our mustaches. Braid it, beat it, set it. Because if one thing is off, then the night is ruined, Scott. Like, it has to be perfect. <laughs> because girls feel that if we have to fix something, if we don't fix it then, then we're going to miss out on true love, because it's right around the corner. We're always <laughs> fixing it. <laughs> so we walk into this bar, and I had to fix my lip liner. And that means I had to find my lip liner. And girls, I had a big bag. <laughs> I had a big bag. There's a very specific way that women will search for something when we have a big bag. What do you do? You take a designated search claw <laughs> and you plunge it. <laughs> Desperately searching to the outside world that looks like you're wrestling with a very small bass. <laughs> Meanwhile, as a woman, you're having to come to terms with the seventh layer of hell that is the bottom of your bag. <laughs> It's just a graveyard of dismembered pens. It's a river sticks of pennies with gum glommed onto the side of Lincoln's head. And why, why is there always a crumbled Nature's Valley granola bar? <laughs> what is it about the makeup of these things that they just disintegrate upon entering the atmosphere? And it hurts because you stick your hand down there, you come up with oats under your fingernails. <laughs> under, you're like, what kind of POW crap is this, Nature's Valley? <laughs> under my finger, you're like, ow, tasty, ow, tasty, ow, tasty. <laughs> Digging around, phone charger, socks, and there's always a concealer that lost its lid. <laughs> so as a girl, you're all pretty, you stick your hand down there, you come up with one creamy digit, you're like, no! <laughs> no! 
expensive, you don't want to waste it, you're like, no. 